Hi guys, welcome back. This is Tinker77. Um, today I'm going to show you how to build this Piglin trading system. It features a couple of nice things. It's first of all, it's fully automatic. It does have automatic droppers, which will give them the gold. It does have an even distribution system using a hopper minecart. And it also has a way of automatically kickstarting the entire system when you put gold in the double chest. Okay, so let me show you how to build this. Let's make one of these fully automatic Piglin trading chambers. So what you're going to do is you want to put a double chest down. You want to put a copper going into that with a carpet on top. That prevents the Piglin from falling in. Now you're going to make a chamber here. You want to put basically on all sides. You want to have glass or a block of your choice. I choose glass so I can see the Piglin. Okay, so we're going to do that right there. Okay, now on the second level facing uh, into the chamber, you want to have a dropper and then you want to have all of your glass, okay? Now, let's get a piglin in here real quick. Okay, there we go. Now, he can't get out of there, and we'll cap this off in a little bit. But what you want to do is you want to take a comparator down here off of the hopper, mm -hmm. put a block on top, a redstone torch, and another block. And you hear a click. That means the dropper's activated. Now, this is fully automatic, fully running, ready to go. So if we take a, a piece of gold here and throw it in, it would start the process up. So let's populate the dropper with, say, eight pieces of gold and as soon as you do the first one here you go buddy he says oh i've got it and he just that right there kicked over the system and starts it now the way this works is that when an item goes into the hopper you can see that this it, the comparator sees that there's stuff in the hopper and it turns off this torch when it turns off it turns this on which says to the dropper to dispense another one or drop another one and this will keep on going but to get the thing started you have to actually give him or put something into the hopper so it tricks the system out. So this is almost fully automatic. You can see he's just enjoying his gold. So let me build this out with a couple more stations and then we're gonna make this even better. I almost forgot how to show you to seal them in. If you try to put a piece of glass on top of this, you can't, I'm trying to click on this. And it's because he's just slightly higher due to the carpet. So we have to push this block on top. So what you can do is just put a couple more blocks here, like temporary blocks, put a piston in here and just power it. And that'll push it on top and there you go. And that's how you seal up a chamber. Now that we have the three Piglins trading stations, we want to be able to load these droppers with gold. Most people will do something like this where they have hoppers going down, and then maybe you'd have some sort of hopper uh, line going into these, trying to load these up with gold, and that will work. But unfortunately, what this does is it favors this first position first, so this will get a lot of gold while these won't. And you want to evenly distribute the gold so that these work uh, at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a hopper minecart system to load these up. So what I do is I put hoppers here, okay, and you can see that they're pointing into the droppers. And then I got to make a track for this. So on this side coming out of this one, I go three blocks out of the dropper, and you're going to make the turnaround. And then you're going to go all the way back here, okay. You want to go two more blocks on each of these. And then we're going to go up and then go two blocks and around, okay. Just like that. Now, that is the basic setup of the track. Now, we want to put in the uh, powered rails. So, we're going to go across here. It's a little difficult. You got to make sure you do uh, the sneak command to get through this right here. Okay. You're going to put one there. This is all the powered rails. And then the regular rails, which you use for the turns, are right there. And we're going to do the same thing up here. Okay. And then right here, we're going to use a detector rail. And so that is the basic track configuration. Again, I put one here and I put those over there. Now to power these, I go underneath with a lever and I'll turn this one on right here. There we go. And I go out here and I do this on this side and this side. And the reason why I went so far out is so that the levers do not interfere with the droppers right there, okay? So now let's get the dispatching system done. Above this detector rail, put a temporary block just like that. That's going to be kind of the where the minecart would be. We're going to put a hopper facing downward on this. And let's put a double chest up here. This is where we would load the gold, okay? So there we go. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to make the system that actually stops this from moving. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a block here. You want to do a comparator that's going to check that detector rail. And then you're going to put a block into that. You're going to put a redstone torch on the side. And then on top of that redstone torch, you're going to put a sticky piston, which will engage, okay? There it is. And then put a glass block in front of that. 
So basically, if if it detects a copper minecart that has something in it, this will engage, which will in essence turn this off and pull the glass block back, which will then have the hopper minecart run the route. Okay, so let's put a hopper minecart in. There we go. I'm gonna make sure it gets down in there. You should stop. And there it is, kind of waiting for some gold. Now I'm gonna put three gold in right here into the chest. And there it goes, and you can see it dispatched the minecart, and it comes around, and it's good. And so all of these droppers should have a gold in them. There's one there, one there, and one there. Okay, so that's great. That did all the work of getting the gold evenly distributed. So if you added more in here, it will just go to town all the way around. But the problem is it did not engage the droppers. We have to have no... To tell the droppers, hey, we've got some gold finally in here, start running. So that is the next step. We need to have a comparator on this hopper to know if it's got anything in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a block there and then a block down. So we have a space for the comparator, okay? So if anything goes into the here, into this hopper, we will know about it with this comparator. And that will be the signal to kickstart this whole thing. We're going to put a block on the side of that, okay? And then from there, we're going to go out. Let me get rid of this block. And we're going to go out to the length here of about uh, maybe here, okay? And this is for the system that will start this up. Now, we're gonna put some repeaters here and the timing here doesn't matter very much as long as the last one here has some dust. I usually put this on four. What we're trying to do is this line has to take longer than the copper mine cart getting to the corner here. And so we don't care the delay as long as we have some, okay? Then what we're gonna have right here is we're gonna have a sticky piston facing downward and we're going to have an observer here facing also downward and then what we're going to have is a block right about here okay and then down below this we're going to have a redstone line going across and some repeaters set to two ticks so what's going to go on here is that this sticky piston will be pushed down the observer will see the change sending power to this block, which should then pass it down to the redstone dust going into the system. So now if I put in some more gold, I'll put three more. Remember, there's already one in each of the droppers. There it is. The system is getting ready. It's going to fire. And there it goes. And you can hear the droppers click. And the guys are all happy that they have some gold. Now, because we started the system, the droppers will then fire the second piece. There they go. And then, of course, when there's nothing left, it stops. One thing you may want to do is put a hopper going into this hopper. That way it gets double loaded from the chest, which will make this have more items quicker. Sometimes if this doesn't get enough items, it'll only stock the first two. This one would not have enough items. And so when it kickstart, it wouldn't actually start up because there was nothing in the dropper. This way everything gets works out fine. So let's see, we're going to put some gold in there and we're going to watch all three of them and all three of them have gold. That's excellent. I think it's time we got these guys to work for us. We're going to put in some gold here, and they're going to get a lot of stuff for us in trade. There we go. And they all received their gold. Excellent. I'm very happy with this system, guys. I'm sure to hope you are, too. I will be implementing this in my survival multiplayer world probably in the next episode or two, so stay tuned for that. And I think that's about it, guys. Hey, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you would like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.